Just as well. Could have been bluffing. Might have just said that so we'd let him go. Damn it. We should have pressed him. Calm down. Avalarch knows him better. We'll hear him out when he returns. Speak of the devil. Geralt's worried. He believes we let Gales go too easily. Mm. I just want to be careful. Can never be too careful. Agreed. Yet I do believe Gales will keep his word. Withhold support from Eredin. Seems to me you have a plan. Care to share it with us? Once we find the Sunstone, aided by your sorceresses and their magic, we shall draw Eredin's ship to a bay along the coast of Undvik. We will wait in ambush, lay a trap. When the King of the Hunt arrives, we will spring it and kill him. Just like that. Defeating Eredin will be no small feat, but we will accomplish it. Find the sorceresses of the Lodge and we'll meet at the port. Then we sail to Skellige. Whoops. I don't know, man. I'm not so sure I trust that guy. A couple character entries have been updated. Gels, Aridin, Oberon. Who's that? Completed through time and space. Okay. Let's uh, take a quick look at through time and space. Should be pretty close to the top here, I think. I think the main quests stay up here. Here we go, through time and space. Holy moly. Uh-huh. Let's see. Ah, what I wouldn't give to see with my own eyes what Geralt saw in the worlds he traversed. Yet most intriguing of all seemed the world of the NL, the end point of Geralt's and Avalok's journey to behold the glories of this ancient elven civilization. But alas, fate granted this privilege not to a poet, but to a witcher, who returned not with paeans to the distant world's beauty, but with a general of the wild hunt, one Gels. I must be fair, however, and state that the general proved useful. Avalok decided to bet all on the ace he had tucked up his sleeve. With the help of the dreamer Corrine Tilly, he proved to Gels that Aridin had killed Oberon. Oh, that's who Oberon was. The erstwhile king of the NL and the object of Gels' undying devotion. Confronted by this revelation, Gels could hardly return to business as usual. He struggled internally for some moments before revealing the one way Geralt and friends could cope, or could hope to defeat Aridin and company. They would have to battle Aridin and the hunt in their own world and on their own terms. The first step, to use the Sunstone to summon the Nagalfar. A plan of action was devised. Geralt, Ciri, the sorceresses, and Avalak would sail to Skellige to find the stone, while Zoltan and I stay behind, would stay behind in Novigrad to keep the hearth fires burning and secure our friend's return. Okay. Oberon. Oberon Mwirsatak, okay, also known as King of the Alders, was ruler of the far-off land of Tir Nalia. The world which is home to Avalak and the Wild Hunt. He died after being poisoned by Aridin Brick Glass, who then declared himself king. At the time of his death, Oberon had been exhausted and embittered by over 650 years of living. Wow, that's a long stinking time. Um, let's see. I know a couple other ones were updated in here, but um, unfortunately it doesn't tell me. It's uh, It only highlights one of them, which is a shame, because I know there were others, but uh, I would imagine that one of them was uh, Avalok. Let's see here. Um, let's see. Avalok played a key role in staving off defeat during the defense of Kaer Morhen. After the battle, he advised the Witcher that ultimate victory over Aridin and his ghastly cavalcade would only be possible with magic assistance. That meant Geralt would have to once again pact with members of the infamous Lodge of Sorceresses. Seizing the calm before the storm, Avalok tried once more to teach Ciri to control her incredible talent. He soon found that Ciri was as stubborn a pupil as she was gifted, 
something that Geralt had discovered for himself much earlier. Drawing on his knowledge of internal NL politics and the strengths and weaknesses of the Wild Hunt's commanders, Avalok crafted a plan to eliminate one of Aridin's most powerful allies, his master of manipulation, Gels. In order to accomplish this, Avalak was willing to do anything, even risk a dangerous journey to Tir Nalia. Okay, and then I think the other one is Gels. Gels. Intelligent, composed, and endowed with massive charisma, Gels enjoyed the respect and trust of the inhabitants of the NL world, as well as that of their previous ruler, Oberon Mersatak. For this reason, Gels not only retained his high-ranking position after Aridin took power, but also became one of the new king's most powerful allies, acting as his viceroy while Aridin traveled at the head of the Wild Hunt. Though Gels was one of the most influential of the NL, power had never been among his driving aims. According to Avalak, his loyalty and sense of right and wrong constituted a weakness that could be used, possibly to tip the scales of the final battle. As predicted, Gels acted out of loyalty to his former king and withdrew support for Aridin once he learned the truth about Oberon's death. This momentous act portended important ramifications for the outcome of the coming battle. All right, so let's see here. We could do the Great Escape. I think that should be fine. Uh, ask Zoltan for help. So this mission is uh, in the mission to gather the members of the former Lodge of Sorceresses. It fell to Yennefer to bring Margarita Lo Antilli to Novigrad. Yennefer's old friend had been captured by the witch hunters and was being kept by Dered, the best guarded prison this side of the Yoruga. Geralt and Yennefer thus had a hard endeavor in front of them. They would have to break into the sealed compound and sneak Margarita out. Good thing Yen had something even better than a file and a carrot cake. Contact information for the one man who had managed to escape Dered. Escaping seemed to be in his blood, for he attempted to make another getaway at the sight of Yennefer and Geralt, but eventually they caught him and sat down for a chat. He told them how to outfox the guards and enter the prison unnoticed. With no time to waste, Geralt and Yennefer raced off to Margarita's rescue. That's what we're going to do now. We're going to go ask Zoltan for help. Zoltan is where? Oh, he's right here. How convenient. Yeah, he's just uh, beneath us here. All right, let's go talk to him. Okay, go down the steps. Is he outside? I think he's outside. What's the hurry? Um oh there he is. Zoltan. Get out. I need your help to free Margarita, dude. They're holding Margarita at Dayrod. You've got a plan to break her out, but we need your help. What should I do? Load a wagon with as much Mahakaman as you can find and drive it to Oxenford. Yennefer will give the signal. They'll drive through the gates and treat the guards. Oh, these are terrible times. Since the mage has left town, the hunters have taken to harassing non-humans. A dwarf lingered around the prison gates only stands to attract attention. Right. Didn't think of that. I'll go straight to Yen in that case. She went to find a way into the ruins beneath the city. Hmm. Okay. I think we already asked him this, didn't we? Novigrad doesn't seem like a safe place anymore. What's keeping you here? I was keen on starting my own enterprise, but nothing came of it. Nevertheless, I took on some debt. Got to pay it back now. I'd like to blame it on the war or human treachery, but the truth is, I've got my own thick skull to blame. Rather not dwell on it, Geralt, if you don't mind. Hmm, okay. See ya. Nice talking to you, Zoltan. See you later. Hmm, okay. That's weird. So we asked him for help, but he can't help us. Hmm. Interesting. Well, in that case, we'll just meet Yennefer at the bridge into Oxenfurt. So we'll just run out here to this fast travel point. Actually, what's my inventory look like? Um, eh, it looks pretty good. 
Actually, um, I tell you what, let's run back in here real quick since there's a stash in here. Where is it? Right here? This is it. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna stash some things in here, like I'm not wearing this Ursine, Ursine armor anymore. Um, so we're gonna stash it. Yeah, let's... Whoops, griffin trousers. What am I wearing now if I'm not wearing the griffin stuff? I thought I was wearing the griffin stuff. I'm wearing superior griffin stuff. Well, then why do I also have enhanced griffin stuff? I don't know. I'm also going to store all of these bolts. I'm not using any of them. So this will really help with the inventory. I don't need to be carrying these trophies around. Okay, um, yeah, I can't use these yet anyway, so let's go ahead and throw these in there as well. What the heck am I wearing now? Oops. I'm wearing superior griffin armor. Okay. Well, for, somehow I also happen to have enhanced griffin armor over here. Not sure how that happens. That's okay. We'll just, uh stash this stuff away. What the heck? We'll stash this too. Yeah, well, look at that. Look at all this space we have now for stuff. Dandelion. Got a minute? For you, my friend, always. Okay, nothing new to talk to him about. See you, Dandelion. Alright, back to the fast travel point. Which I think is right out here. Yep. Look at that guy. What are you doing, dude? He's probably supposed to be resting his we hands on that table. Long live Radovid. Hail the mage hunters. Okay, fast travel over to here. Let's see. Let's go to this gate. And we'll meet Yennefer. Coming through. I'm nervous about this quest. Sounds difficult. I'm right here, Jennifer. You don't have to yell at me. Find a way in. Several. Nearest is through a well not far from here. Did you arrange any help? We'll manage on our own. Shall we begin? Let's do this. Enter the prison through the well. Oh boy, this should be interesting. Sure the guards don't know about the passage through the ruins? Haven't planted sentries there? They haven't. How can you be sure? Novigrad's hierarchs have taken great care to eradicate any and all memories of the city's elven roots. Even if anyone remembers the ruins are there, they have no recollection of how far and where they extend. And I'm absolutely certain no one's thought to place sentries there. Hope you're right. Hmm. There's a quest over here. Is this that quest I've been trying to... What's going on over here? Oh, it's her again. Leave her alone. Why is that? Want us to plow you? Is that it? Doable, but you'll have to hide that mug in a sec. Uh... Let her go first. <laughs> no, no, no. Piss off before I kick your asses. We'll see who kicks whose ass. Get him, lads! Pound his gob! There we go. Uh-huh. You thought we were gonna fight. Surprise. <laughs> Why fight one of you at a time when I can take all three of you on at once? Ha ha ha. Hey, Dora. You alright? Fine. Truth be told, I'd have managed on my own, but thank you. You could have managed it? You'd have managed it? Managed those men by yourself? Of course. Knee to the bollocks, elbow to the throat. Job done. <laughs> okay, well, let me walk you home. Walk you home? Hey now, I'm grateful, sure, but I'll not demonstrate that in the alcove. Walk you home, that's it. Hmm, 
In that case, yes. Come. Okay. Yeah, just hold on, Yennefer. I'm going to walk this woman home. We're doing a secondary quest called Rough Neighborhood. War had transformed the once charming student town of Oxenford beyond all recognition. King Radovid had expelled the students and professors, and in their place had come shady characters of all stripes. For example, while there, Geralt witnessed some such thugs pestering an Oxenford townswoman in a most unbecoming manner. Escort the woman to her home. I thought she was somebody else that we had come across earlier, but that, that was in uh, Novigrad. What is it? Oh, am I supposed to be escorting you home? I don't know where your home is. Okay. Where's your home? Hmm? Um, you need to move here. Let me push her. There we go. Nope. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Had to, had to get her started. Master Witcher, do you always help folk for free? Sometimes for free, usually for pay. Phew. I was afraid you were abnormal. No, I'm good. Here it is. Really, you needn't have troubled yourself. Yeah, that's right. Forgot. Could have handled it yourself. Mm, forgot. Could have managed it on your own. Well, don't let me get in your way. Farewell. All right. Quest updated. Rough neighborhood. Yes, I'm a witcher. We just spoke. Hmm? What is it? All right. So, <laughs> back to uh, Yennefer. I'm sure she didn't mind that little diversion. Right here. Here we are. This is it. Hmm. Boulder was plugging the well until recently. Due to an edict Hemelfart issued some years ago. But I managed to find two brawny and obliging passers-by who agreed to remove the impediment. For a modest fee, naturally. Here. What is this? Use it once you find Rita. I'll be able to pinpoint your location. Uh, I thought you were coming with me. Not coming. Mucking through ruins and sewers? Hmm, I'd rather leave it to the expert. Meaning you'd rather waltz in once the hard work's done. <laughs> Alright, let's... Oh. oh, joy. Let's enter the prison through the well. Here we go. Alright, Yennefer. This is it. This is it. This is it. Oh, boy. I guess we just plop down in here, huh? Search the ruins. Oh boy. Hmm. Some cool stuff down here. Might as well go ahead and get it. We like cool stuff. Whoa. Sword, cuirass, ruby dust, and sap. Uh, where's the other stuff I saw? I know I saw other stuff. Hmm. Let's go back up top. There's a couple of things right down there. Orange, diamond dust, and nails. Runestone, timber, scraps, and dust. Okay. Swim back up. Oh. It's kind of scary. Come on. Let's find the surface here. Okay. All right. Let's do a little bit of swimming. What's that down there? Eternal Fire Executioner's Armor? Okay, yeah, I actually found some of that earlier in the game. Alright, keep on swimming. Oh, whoops, that's where we came from. I got turned around. Swim this way. Hmm. Uh, this doesn't look like it goes anywhere. Well, maybe it does, actually. A grave hag? Hello. How are you? Are you going to throw stuff at me? Uh-huh. Let's see if that kills her. It's doing an awful lot of damage to her. And she's dead. Oh, <laughs> 
You dropped something. Venom extract, monstrous fang, grave hag's ear. Okay, suddenly this place got very big. What if we would have gone this way instead? What? Oh, examine. <laughs> Tomb Raider. Seems this one liked Elven stuff. Huh, okay. 